Hey everyone, I wanted to do a video and talk a little bit about the customization and my personal customization of the dashboard in the in the new Mercedes uh, GLE uh, 53 option and um, there's a lot of options, there's a lot of way to, as you know, all know it of the owner's side. If you are the owner of a similar car, uh, latest Mercedes, you would know the amount of customization for your dashboard um, is pretty wide and um, if uh, if you don't own this car, uh, you don't have a saw or anything, you're considering just getting this car. Um, there's a lot of customization options that you can do. Uh, there's a lot of customizations on... Uh, uh, so basically, uh, the entire dashboard lets you customize based on different like tabs, themes, favorites, um, consumptions, dynamic um, selects and data about your vehicle. Uh, so it's very dynamic and customizable and personalized. Same with this, um, with the left dashboard. Uh, what you can do is, and um, you can use these little uh, black squares on the left. You will see it controls um, it controls um, uh, the tabs. So you can see the highlight underneath. So this means this tab is active and you will see there's a little, oh, um, you will see, oh no, there's, you see there's a lot more. If I, if you press, the more you press, the more you get, right? <laughs> so you'll see there's a little uh, dot indicator that appears very quickly. Same with this one, it's like right here. It's like a little dot, um, dot indicator where you can just go vertically and change all of these configurations and options, which is pretty amazing. Um, the amount of, the amount of options that you can do and you can change and uh, you do the tilt, you do the radio, you do route, uh, left, the gas uh, from the start time. And same with the right one. So on the right side of the wheel, you will have that black square. And uh, once you start navigating it, you'll, you basically, similar to the touch pad that you have on your right hand side, um, you're able to just just move it, change your themes, change your customizations. You can even install apps from your smartphone, from a browser, you can get your weather. Uh, so there's a lot of, you can go home here. Uh, so there's a lot of options that you can try on, explore and customize. They change, they have profiles. They also have profiles and different names um, that you can have. You can have different profiles. You can create a profile. Uh, you can have a guest profile if you have multiple family members. Uh, so, so this way you don't, um, for every member in your family who's driving the car, you um, who wants a different profile, you can just customize, create their own profile uh, with different settings and customize the entire dashboard and uh, and let them like change and feel like it's their car. Um, like you used to do in the seats because you can do the seats memory uh, now you can do the same with uh, with your dashboard, which is pretty cool. Um, so, I want to do next is just talk a little bit now about my personal customization. What I do, um, I usually customize my left uh, my left dashboard. To see. I don't uh, I don't necessarily worry about the angle of the vehicle. I basically just keep it on the speed ramp. So I like the different visualization. If you put, hit on gas, um, so you will change right now. I'm not moving anywhere. Uh, even if I'm hitting the gas pedal, so I see the power change here. Um, but the, as soon as you accelerate, you will see the gauge moving from zero to um, whatever speed you're going. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool to see visually. It's very um, exciting and, uh, and much more visually and um, engaging to, to look at once you drive the car. It feels like need for speed almost in a way. Um, then for the middle one, I do, you can do G-Force, you can do, sometimes I have the moderate, like the, the options on the customizations for uh, what kind of engine mode I'm going with. So sometimes you can change the, um, uh, the power, change the sound to be powerful, balanced, uh, change the mode to be comfort, sport. And the way I'm changing that, just so you know, um, I have, this is an add-on feature when you can add these knobs, they just move around. 
pretty cool. Um, and the, I change them here. Um, and it basically automatically reflects that in the dashboard here, as you see. Um, so that gives you, gives you quick awareness of the customization of that engine at the moment because it changes and resets after after every restart of the car, um, reset of the car. So there's G-Force. Uh, so I, and another option that I like to keep here is the horsepower and torque. Uh, this way I can see, um, especially, so it gives me visibility on that, on, the, on these numbers, which is important for me if I'm going uphill, downhill, in the mountains, up the mountains, and with the, with the, um, uh, with passengers inside, um, it gives me an understanding of uh, of the possibility of the car uh, that I can push to the next limit or to, an, um, to a bigger limit. Uh, so that that's been uh, pretty helpful to me to know and find out. Um, oils. Uh, this is more for visibility. Uh, sometimes I trigger it just to look it up, but never had an issue with that. So it's not it's not as important. And G, we have a G Force, which probably you'd probably use more for uh, racing. Um, on the right side now, I uh, right now it's set on um, on tires, but I don't keep it on tires. What I do, I keep it on the map, and um, uh, you can customize your map. You can have your navigation up here. Uh, it takes over the entire screen, and I like I don't know about you, but I do a, like multitasking, and I usually prefer to listen to my radio or. Um, there's a Spotify option. If I hook up my uh, my device, uh, my device via uh, with the Apple CarPlay. Um, so basically, I like to just like go through, like listen to my radio, uh, like, and uh, every morning I drive. And so I I usually just like swipe through left and right, just like different channels. So it gives me this option. So I like to keep it open uh, to just like swipe through different radio stations and like different other multitasking that I do. Uh, if like reading the text messages or voicemail, um, so I this is not my preferred <laughs> GPS option. I would say so. I do like to keep it actually here. So if I end up using this GPS and not a CarPlay, um, uh, it would show it would show me the route, the the, uh, the way I'm going, basically the map uh, in this little window, which is pretty handy. Uh, it doesn't have to occupy the entire screen, even though it looks really cool. Visually, it's kind of like very impactful. Like the first time you see it, it's just like, wow, what is a spaceship? What is this cool, like cool large screen? It's just like, feels like in the movies. But um, in practice, I didn't find it super useful. Um, I do get away with just like a little, um, uh, little navigation here and just use the large screen for everything else. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? I think, let's see. Um, there's consumption, not really, never really use that. Same G-Force, you can do another mode here, which is weird they let you do that, uh, considering that you can duplicate it, and other than anyone you would ever need this. Um, this is another cool visualization that sometimes I keep, uh, that is similar to the one that I saw in the middle, but just more interesting, because you can see your horsepower and your boost going up and down, so that's pretty cool. Um, uh, like to see visually because it starts blue and then it goes red uh, yellow and red so it's it, again like need for speed mode ray <laughs> um and let's see what else um there's another one some okay sometimes i also keep this visualization here with uh just to check up on the tires and i the reason i like this because it kind of combines two visualizations so you get not just like you don't just get three or you actually get more than three um here now with the oil uh, temperatures and uh, uh, you get your tire pressure which is pretty handy it can be handy if you're tracking your tires uh, if you want to check on them uh, okay and yeah that's it uh, I mean of course you can get your ramp there as well right it's just like same same what you have here in the dial kind of like style radial style this one is just more linear uh, so you can have it one on the left, one on the right. Um, and then if you boost, this thing like goes up here. Uh, it's pretty cool, full need for speed. Um, yeah, so I think that's all I have uh, for you. Um, yeah, uh, let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, if you prefer a different customization, would love to hear in your comment. Um, and uh, yeah, what's your thoughts on this? 
thanks for watching hit subscribe like if you want to see more content like this uh, hope you find this helpful god bless and have a great day bye bye